Welcome to GBTV News. I'm Kevin Babcock. And I'm Ryan Fleming. On behalf of everyone here at GBTV, we'd like to welcome and congratulate all the freshmen, transfer, and international students to our university. Let's take a look back at move-in weekend and all the fun events that occurred. On Friday, August 22nd, fall convocation occurred in the Alumni Healthful Living Center. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I welcome each of you to this convocation that marks the opening of yet another academic year, our 96th since our establishment in 1919 as a branch of Northeastern University. Convocations are held to convene students and faculty at the beginning of the academic year to bring us all together to proclaim our purpose for being together, namely to commit ourselves to a year of learning and of intellectual growth. But at Western New England University, our academic convocation is much more than a calling together of members of the academy. It is an occasion and an opportunity to be motivated and inspired by our collective energies and by the presence of the newest members of the university and their parents and family members. This very convocation conveys that it is our practice to honor and to recognize academic excellence. It is our tradition to inculcate a spirit of achievement. It's our tradition to be role models for each other. And it is our practice to help each other to see to what heights we can aspire. Today, we continue the tradition of placing before all of us assembled here today, particularly before our new student, students here, our student inductees, our student inductees in Alpha Lambda Delta National Honor Society. And I congratulate our Alpha Lambda Delta initiatives, initiates. We proudly recognize you before all of our new students here today. May our new students be inspired to achieve academic fulfillment as you all have done. At Western New England University, scholarship, study, intellectual growth, and academic rigor are first and foremost our most valued undertakings. Now let me tell you a little about our new students. Students in the audience, you were selected for admission from the largest applicant pool in the history of the university. There were over 6,200 applications to the university. You were accepted and you indeed made a wise, smart decision to be part of our university. You follow the footsteps of thousands of graduates of the university who attribute their success in large measure to Western New England University. Just think of it. You follow 43,700 other men and women who have studied, grown, and matured at this institution. And now you are part of our evolving history. And it is my hope that you will be inspired by all that has come before you and that you will recognize how fortunate you are, we all are, to be in this place at this time. You number about 900 first-year students and transfer students, and you have come from 488 public and private high schools with graduating classes ranging from 25 to over 1,000. And you hail from far and near, from 21 states, 10 foreign countries, and you will meet each other soon from Santa Cruz, Bolivia, or Trumbull, Connecticut, from Lake Forest, Illinois, or Ekaterinburg, Russia, from Seattle, Washington, or Cranston, Rhode Island, from Shandong, China, or Brookline, Massachusetts, from Los Angeles, California, or Hollywood, Florida, from Spring, Texas, to Springfield, Massachusetts, from Scarborough, Maine, to Hartford, Connecticut. For 48% uh, of you are actually from the state of Massachusetts, 22% from Connecticut, and 15% from New York. Our transfer students have attended 54 different colleges in 16 states. We welcome you from Northeastern University in Massachusetts, Marist College in New York, Rutgers in New Jersey, Salva Regina in Rhode Island, Pepperdine in California, the University of Connecticut, 
and other fine institutions from across the United States and from nearby Springfield Technical Community College, Holyoke Community College, and Westfield State University. All 100, at 135 in total, you are the largest entering group of transfer students in our history. You chose to leave another university to come here. And because you have most likely come here for a specific major or area of study, I know that you will undertake the completion of your studies with seriousness and with focus, and I know also that you will enjoy your experience here. 22% of you list yourselves as African American, American Indian, Hispanic, Asian, or multiracial. This is a campus, as you will quickly learn, that welcomes, supports, and embraces all students, regardless of differences in appearance, in manner, ideas, culture, ethnic heritage, sexual orientation, or personal belief. You have chosen to pursue 62 separate majors or concentrations. 76 of you have expressed interest in our criminal justice program, 30 of you in our psychology program, 13 in our neuroscience program. A total of 215 students are pursuing a major in engineering, and 64 of you are beginning your studies in our pre-pharmacy program. 57 of you will be joining us as accounting or finance majors, with 64 of you have been conditionally admitted into one of our five-year joint bachelor's and master's degree programs in business or in engineering. 86 of you have expressed an interest in our three plus three law program through which you seek admission and enter into Western New England University School of Law upon completion of your junior year at the university. And a good number of you I know are not sure about a major, but don't worry. We'll help you explore and we'll help you choose. Your academic uh, credentials are really impressive. Your average SAT scores are significantly above the national average and some of you earned a perfect score on the math section of the ACT or SAT test. Several of you were high school valedictorians or salutatorians. 31% of you who are freshmen have completed college courses while still in high school or have college credits through advanced placement AP courses. 45 of you will be matriculating as second semester freshmen. Five freshmen in the audience are actually matriculating with enough credits to be classified as sophomores. And one student will be entering as a junior because of the many college credits earned during high school. Many students have received academic honors or personal accolades. For example, 174 of you are members of the National Honor Society. Many have been in other honor societies related to many academic areas, including math, art, and foreign languages. 20 of you are mass mutual academic achievers, twice the number of last year. The university partners each year with Mass Mutual Incorporated in providing programs and scholarships to academic achievers. And many of you awarded from the, were awarded uh, scholarships from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And I'm glad that you recognize the value of a Western New England University education and chose to pursue your education at this private university rather than using your scholarship at a Massachusetts public institution. And you bring many diverse experiences to Western New England University. Many of you have been active in Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. At least 18 of you are Eagle Scouts. 104 of you served as president or officers of organizations, including as your, of your high school class. 236 students served as captains on athletic teams with 54 serving as captains of more than of two teams or more. Many of you have been involved in your school newspaper or your yearbook, and many of you have been involved in vocal and instrumental groups. One among you is the lead guitarist of a rock band, and another of you is a professional DJ. Many of you have also been involved in student government, peer mediation, coaching, model United Nations, we have a person who designed and developed an outdoor bike park in his community. There was one person who served 
as his high school mascot. And another person in the audience who is a beekeeper. Now, our golden bear will be very happy to meet that individual. Some of you have already studied or traveled abroad. You have already traveled or attended school in Germany, Spain, Italy, France, Australia, and several other countries. And I hope that all of you, our students here today, that all of you will participate at some time in one of Western New England University's many study abroad programs, which are either year long, semester long, or of short duration. Each year, we provide an ever-increasing number of international opportunities with more and more students going abroad. Just this summer, one group of students has just returned from the FIFA World Cup in Brazil with faculty members under whom they studied. Our men's and women's soccer teams have just returned from Spain and from Italy. Our students studied in our long-standing London summer program or in a special summer courses developed by our own faculty in the Czech Republic, Iceland, Italy, China, and Guatemala. In a week, 15 second-year students will depart for their sophomore experience abroad at Richmond University in London, where they will take business courses taught by members of the Western New England University business faculty. So you see, just your arrival here may be just the first leg of a glorious journey and of great adventure here as well as abroad. Yes, you are indeed an accomplished, diversified, diverse, and very interesting group. For some, you are carrying on a family tradition. 33 of you have a parent who graduated from Western New England University, and 18 of you have a sibling who graduated from here, while three additional students have grandparents who are alums. So as I welcome our new students to Western New England University, I also welcome back our alumni, our parents, our grandparents, and our alumni siblings who have wisely guided our new students to the university and who have shown in a very concrete way the extent to which they value the education they received at Western New England University by having you follow in their footsteps. So students, our new students today, much has been given to you and you will receive much more. But from you, we expect much. You must seize the opportunity. You must be prepared to work, to be responsible, to develop good habits of mind, to pursue your education actively, to appreciate your professors, and to work in partnership with us at the university. And remember, it was your own accomplishments that brought you here in the first place, and it is a belief it is with a belief in your promise that we accepted you to Western New England University. And when all is said and done, you will be judged against your own accomplishments and you will judge yourself against these. So push yourself, stretch, grow, avail yourself fully of the many opportunities that this university will afford you. And I welcome the parents and family members of our new students, for you too are a vital part of who we are. While we at the university play an important role in the development and growth of our students, our influence is only partial. For if the light shines, it had to begin at home with you. Parents and family members, your influence, your support, your caring, and your wise counsel are essential for the success of our students. So please do not relinquish your personal responsibility. Stay linked to your sons and daughters whom you are entrusting to us so that this light will continue to shine, perhaps even more brightly than ever before. On this Friday, August 22nd, 2014, I officially open academic year 2014-15 at Western New England University. Thank you, welcome. May this be a great year of growth for all of us. Good afternoon. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to Western New England and the start of your college careers. I am speaking to you today as your Student Senate President. Student Senate is a student-run organization that is not only the voice of the students, but it is also the liaison between the undergraduate community 
and the administration. Our job is to make sure we are always improving our campus and our community to best serve students. I am privileged to be president and to represent each and every one of you. I'm excited to be with you today to start your journey through college here at Western New England University. As you begin your journey as a Golden Bear, I encourage you to keep an open mind because you never know where your road might take you. You may become friends with the person sitting right next to you. You may be a future student leader on this campus. You may be a future athlete who will do amazing things on the field or court. You may be a musician or artist that performs for the campus and enriches our community. But no matter what path you take, when I look out into the crowd, today I see new members of the Western New England University community. Our community is flourishing and ever-changing. There is never a dull day, and there is always a new obstacle to overcome. Being a senior here, I have seen firsthand how much the community can do for you. Whether it's meeting with an academic success specialist to help you ace an exam, working with your faculty advisor to identify opportunities for learning beyond the classroom, or exploring what this campus has for clubs and organizations at the Student Activities Expo, there are plenty of ways to explain your college experience. In my time here, I have learned very crucial pieces of advice that I would like to share with you today. First, never be afraid to take risks. Nobody is perfect, and to say this a little better than I can, I have a quote from my inspiration, Michael Jordan, who shares, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life and that is why I succeed. You will all take risks throughout your, in, throughout your college career and my advice is to not let them define you. Today I challenge you to look at the events that do not go as planned as opportunities to learn. Catherine Stockett, author of The Help, received 60 rejection letters from agents before the 61st accepted her after five years of writing and three and a half years of rejections. Poet and writer Samuel Beckett shares that anyone who has ever succeeded in any human endeavor will tell you that they have more, learned more from his failures than learn more from his successes. Every morning provides you with an opportunity to start something new, to reflect on what you would like to change, to learn, and grow. Similarly, remember that success takes hard work. You will gain from this experience what you put into it. Second, get involved. Many of you might have been involved in one way or another in high school. College is the time to develop yourself and give yourself the skills you need to be successful in the real world. Joining a club or organization, going to a sporting event, or even talking to new members of this community are ways to get involved and will help you make those lasting relationships that will you remember for the rest of your life. Third, know your resources. Whether it is your faculty advisor, your peer advisor, freshman seminar assistant, or your resident advisor, there is always someone to help make your transition easier. Looking back, you will note that these are the relationships that you will most value as faculty are instrumental in assisting your, you in preparing for and obtaining career experience through internships. Fourth, you get out of this experience what you put into it. College is meant to be the best time of your life. If you put in effort, you will learn more about yourself than you could ever imagine. If someone stood in front of me three years ago and told me that I would be giving this speech, I would have told you to keep dreaming. This community and the resources are here to help you succeed and push yourself. I feel that I have accepted that challenge and my hope is in leaving today, you will all accept that challenge and be the best you can be. Lastly, do what you love to do. Many of you may have already picked your major and are comfortable where you are. There are many people who haven't and that's okay. It is important to test the waters and validate your decisions. Steve Jobs wrote, your work is going to fill a big part of your life and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to do what you love to do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. Don't settle. As with all matters of your heart, you'll, find when, you'll know when you find it. And like any great relationship, it just gets better and better as the years roll on. So keep looking until you find it. Don't settle. Your work should be your passion and what you love doing every day. Today I would like to congratulate you as you pledge to uphold the standards that I have been set forth before you for our community covenant. As I stated, this community values each student and together we make the university an outstanding place to learn, live, and grow.
Earlier today, you signed the community covenant with your peer advisor. Please join me in resp responding to the following statements with, I will. Will you pledge to protect the safety of both persons and property? Will you pledge to safeguard the practice of free and open expression without risk of ridicule? Will you maintain respect for the dignity of each person? Will you safeguard personal integrity? Will you maintain personal accountability for my decisions and choices? Will you accept the laws of responsible citizenship? I would now like to ask my fellow student leaders to distribute now a pin signifying your membership to our community and symbolizing your commitment to this community. Thank you all for allowing me to speak here today, and I look forward to meeting every one of you. Know that Student Center is here for you, and that we are here to make your experience here at Western New England the best it can be. Thank you. Good afternoon. Today is an important day in your timeline at Western New England University. It's an exciting time, a time of anticipation for what lies ahead. Convocation marks the first of many traditions that you will participate in as you embark on your collegiate experience. For those of you who attended SOAR, the theme of destination graduation, the notion of beginning with the end in mind, is exemplified today. Before long, you will find yourself sitting in this very room for your commencement ceremony. Today, as you formally start your journey here at Western New England University, I challenge you to consider what you hope to accomplish, what you hope to experience, and who you would like to become by the time you walk across the stage at your commencement ceremony. Consider the opportunities you will take advantage of in the co-curricular, the internships or study abroad experiences available to you, what mentors you will meet, what lifelong friendships you will forge that will ultimately shape who you will become. Whether this marks your first year in college or your third, today as a new student at Western New England, you have a unique opportunity to start anew. In what ways will you continue to build on the person you are today? Today, I challenge you to be confident in who you are. You each bring something unique to the Western New England University community and make it an even greater place to learn, live, and work. The pin you have just received from your peer advisor signifies your membership in this Golden Bear community, a community where members respect one another, live with integrity, and are accountable for their choices a community where members care for one another and where every member matters. Colin Powell, 65th U.S. Secretary of State, writes, it doesn't matter where you start, it matters where you finish and what you do along the way. It is in taking advantage of all that the university has to offer that you will learn more about yourself and your discipline, building lasting relationships. Don't allow someone else's view of success to intimidate you. Often we hear the voices of others in our heads and let those voices affect how we view ourselves. Believe in yourself, always trying your very best, using the network of support on campus to assist you. Today I challenge you to consider the choices that you make. Being in college means the freedom to be on your own, to make your own decisions, to decide how you will spend the hours that you are not in class. Many of you have been looking forward to this moment all summer. To doing what you want to do when you want to do it. And there is so much responsibility that comes with making your own choices. And too often, we feel compelled to make a choice based on the influence of others. I challenge you to have the strength to do what you feel is right 
and to say no to the things you feel are not, and to step up and support your peers when they need it. Remember what matters most and surround yourself with people who believe in you. Talk less and listen more. Step away from the computer, turn off your cell phone, and enjoy the moments that will shape your time here. I challenge you to be present every day. Woody Allen once said that 80% of success is showing up. Start each day with the goal of doing your very best. The students being honored today as they are inducted into Alpha Lambda Delta have walked the same path you are stepping onto. And they have demonstrated that you can achieve your academic goals. You can balance the personal, social, and academic challenges of college. As you look forward, keep in mind the reasons that you are here today and strive to surpass what you believe is possible. Finally today, I challenge you to consider what your verse will be. We all learned of the recent passing of Robin Williams, and I remember watching the movie Dead Poets Society, which was filmed in 1989, so this is probably more of a reference for parents. And I was inspired by the character Robin played in the film, Dr. Keating. If you haven't seen the film, I challenge you to check it out. I aspired to be a teacher, and Dr. Keating was a teacher in the film who inspired his students to question the status quo, who mo motivated his students and who had an impact on them as people. Today, as you continue your education, as you prepare for your vocation, I challenge you, I encourage you to challenge the status quo and to occasionally jump on the desk and see the world in a different view. I am reminded of a famous scene from the film where Dr. Keating recites the poem, O oh Me, O oh Life, by Walt Whitman. In the poem, he writes, the question, O oh Me, so sad, reoccurring, what good among, amid these, O oh Me, O oh Life? Answer, that you are here that life exists and identity, that the powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse. That might sound familiar to you because it has been a popular commercial for a tablet, but that last line is a powerful one, that the powerful play goes on and you can contribute a verse. And so today I challenge you to consider what your verse will be. What will you bring to our community? What do you hope to contribute? What will define your experience? So. Under your seat is an index card and a pen, so I want you to reach under there, or I give you permission to pull out your cell phones, and I want you to write down one goal, one thing you hope to accomplish this semester. And so if you have a smartphone, I want you to tweet it and hashtag it, WNEU Convocation. And I'm gonna wait. So I hope I see some lights of cell phones out there. Write down one goal, one thing you hope to accomplish, or tweet it out. If you're writing it, once you have it written down, I want you to pass it to your peer advisor. All right, I look forward to checking out on my cell phone, on my Twitter account, what you all have been tweeting and to reading through your index cards to see what the one goal is that you're looking forward to accomplish this semester. I wish you an excellent year filled with laughter and learning, moments you will look back on at your commencement so ceremony and be proud of. Thank you. That night, Jim Spinato, hypnotist and comedian, entertained all in Rivers Memorial Hall. We had quite the hilarity ensue that night. Let's hear it for the hypnotist, the comedian, Mr. Jim Spinato!
<laughs> Seriously, actually, that cannot happen. That's a physical impossibility. So before I ask the volunteers to come up, I want to give all you guys a little test. And this test will tell you and I who might be able to do this. So you want to try the test? Yes? Yeah. Let me ask you to stand up just for a moment, okay? Thank you. So listen, here's the test. Listen, here's the test. By the way, how many of you have done this before? Have you ever been in high school? Did I do high school? Well, high school, what? Brain tree? Yes. Okay, brain tree. Yes, so listen, here's the test. Here's the test. In a moment, not yet, but in a moment, you'll place both feet together. Brain tree, guys. You'll clasp your hands together in a moment. You'll extend your arms out. You'll separate your two index fingers. And then you'll turn your wrist up. So in a moment, you'll be like this. Uh, listen, when you're in that position, I will ask you to stare at the space between your fingers. And as you do that, I will suggest to you that attach these fingers a magnet. So here's how this works. If you stare at that space and think about magnets, that space will probably get smaller. So, both feet together, clasp the hands together, and extend your arms way out. Separate your two of these fingers, turn your wrist up, stare at that space, listen to the music from the music. I want you to imagine that attaching both those fingers is a magnet. Now, as you imagine those magnets attacking each other,
images wide. So if you're using your imagination, I want you to feel this plank of your feet. I want you to actually see yourself in your mind standing on this piece of wood. Now the object is to remain on that board without stepping off to the floor. In order to do that, you're going to feel your body beginning to rock and sway back and forth. Just let it go. Let your body begin to move back and forth. I'm going to come along and touch your left shoulder. When I touch your left shoulder, just fall forward. I'll be right in front of you when you catch it. In the meantime, sway back and forth, back and forth, sway. And then the following morning on Saturday, August 22nd, was Bear Fest, and that was when all the new students on campus left for Beckett Chimney Corners Outdoor Leadership Center for a day of fun, competition, and relaxation. That night was the Grand Gala hosted by the Residence Hall Association and Campus Activities Board. There was a lot of fun prizes given away, playing a lot of casino games like poker, craps, and Texas Hold'em. Man, I lost a lot of money. Uh, Kevin, it was not real money. Who was auditioning out all those 20s to? Oh, God. <laughs> Moving in early to campus were those students who participated in the music camp. Let's take a look at one of their performances now. <laughs> the first week of activities behind us, let's take a look at the next week coming up. On Saturday, August 30th, new students will be participating in amazing experiences. These include going to a Pawtucket Red Sox game, zip lining, whitewater rafting, and rock climbing, among many other activities. Also that night, uh, Saturday, August 30th, CAB will be showing the movie Captain America the Winter Soldier on Commonwealth Lawn. The rain location is Rivers Memorial Hall at 8 o'clock. I can't wait to watch that, Ryan. Oh, man. And Sunday, August 31st, Winnie Palooza will be on the Commonwealth Lawn. This is Western New England University's music festival, featuring We the Kings. I have to note here that it's not Kings of Leon, it is We the Kings. Head on out to Commonwealth Lawn for a great day of music, activities, and a picnic dinner on the lawn. Sponsored and by CAB. And on Monday, September 1st, the Bear Olympics will be happening on Commonwealth Lawn. All the freshman residence halls will compete for the Covenant Bear Trophy in such games as dodgeball, tug of war, uh, water balloon fights, and pop trivia culture to prove which dorm is the best once and for all. I don't know about you, Ryan, but I'm putting all my money on Katniss. Uh, this isn't the Hunger Games, Kevin. <laughs> that must be the following weekend, right? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we hope everyone had a fun and safe first week on campus. For everything GBTV, you can follow us on Twitter at GBTVWNEU or search, us, search for us on Facebook at Western New England Golden Bear Television. Once again, thank you for watching GBTV. I'm Kevin Babcock. I'm Ryan Fleming. And we'll see you next week. On GBTV. Yeah.